Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry and today I'm going to show you a 20 inch fat tire folding e-bike that's really cool. Stick around. All right, so today I'm going to show you the zip and fold folding 20 inch e-bike, but before I get into it, hit the subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. It'll be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. All right, so right here I have the brand new 630 zip and fold 20 inch fat tire e-bike that folds. This thing is really, really cool for many reasons, so let me show you all about it. Now, you can find this on the 630.com website. It's also linked in the description below. You can check it out there. Now, this is a 20-inch fat tire e-bike, but this packs a lot of power. It has a 750-watt rear hub motor. It also has a 48-volt, 15-amp-hour battery. So, you're gonna easily hit top speeds of 20 miles an hour with your twist throttle or pedal assist but also that extra power is gonna get you up hills. So riders up to 300 pounds are gonna have no issues going up major hills with the 750 watts of power. Now, it can accommodate riders up to about 350 pounds and you'll still be able to get up to hills, but you may just have to give a little bit more exertion to get you up major hills. Now, different grades of hills have different impact on how much exertion you'll need. I'm 225 pounds and uh, it can get, up, get me up hills quite easily with just using the throttle actually. So the 750 watts provides a lot, a lot of power. Now with the 14 volt, 15 amp hour battery, you're gonna get up to 50 miles on rides. And I would say full throttle, uh, you should expect about 20 miles, depending on the type of hills you're doing, the weight of the rider, the conditions, and with pedal assist, you can go even farther. Um, but it's a very large battery that can take you great distances. Now, Cool thing about this is these three inch wide, uh, 20 inch tires. These are great for on-road and off-road on certain trails. Now, if you're going down loose rocks, I wouldn't recommend them. They may slip a little bit. You can see they have a little bit of a slicker tread, but still, if you're going on some gravel, hard pack trails, dirt, these are gonna do well, and the motor's gonna really, really perform as well. And it also provides a very cushy ride. Uh, the three inches are going to absorb a lot of the vibrations. Take that vibrations away from your body so you're not feeling it when you ride. Uh, it's really, really smooth and a lot of fun. Now, in addition to that, you have seven speeds as well. Now, these seven speeds function just like seven speeds on a typical bicycle. You can shift those gears. You don't have to be using the electric if you don't want to choose to. And you have these seven speeds here. So you have gears one through seven. One is going to be for climbing hills. Seven is going to be for flat ground when you want to go faster. And the benefit of that is if you're going up really big hills, you're still going to want it to have it in gear one to make it as easy as possible to pedal. But when you're in pedal assist five, you're going to want to have it in level seven so you can keep up with the assistance the motor's going and really uh, go as fast as you would like to go, up to 20 miles an hour, that is. Okay, now, in addition to that, let me show you a few things in regards to the folding. Now, the seat is quick release. Just want to tighten that down a little bit. Now, cool things. One, you have quick release seat. You also have quick release handlebars. So you can raise and lower the handlebars to the height that you see fit. And just make sure you clamp those down. Now, in addition to that, obviously this folds. So watch how easy this is. On the front here, you're gonna pull up on the lever. This is gonna fold or come out. Handlebars are gonna fold down. Now from there, you release the lever right here, unlocks it, pull this, and now the bike folds completely in half. And if you're transporting it, you actually have a stand down here and you can go ahead and rest that. Well, in this case, we have the pedal down there. Otherwise, you could rest that down on the little stand there, and it sits like this. And this folds up to 22 inches wide. Uh, and I just took the measure for the length. I believe it was about 38 inches long. So, fits into tight spaces. You can easily transport it. And the height here uh, also comes very low. Let me grab my tape measure to give you some exact measurements. 
Okay, so if you're looking to transport this folding e-bike, uh, the, the highest point is going to be 28 inches because you can remove the seat if you need to fit it in a car. Now, if you wanted to leave the seat in, just pull your seat clamp um, down here and we can drop that down. So that's gonna be a little bit higher. So that's gonna be more like 29 inches. You can also fold it forward or push it forward like this. So I take it off the pedal. Now it's folding forward. Now you've lowered that down to 28 inches right there with the seat. And again, if we take that seat out, now our highest point becomes 20, about 22 inches. So really low, really low measurement. Then from there, if you're looking at the lengthwise, fully folded like this, where the handlebars are up front there, we're looking at about, that's actually about 42 inches long. So it folds up very compact. You can also fold up the pedals, which I'll show you in a second here. Let me put my tape measure down and then show you how easily this is. So let's say you had it in your car just like this. Okay, so actually your lowest point of folding it would be to have it sitting on the pedal like this. And that's gonna put it at 20, 27 inches. Now, if you take the seat out, it's gonna take it lower. Um, well, actually, it's 28 inches here on the folding mark. So 28 inches is the lowest point. Now, when I shifted it forward, it did bring the rack up quite a bit higher. So now we're at 33 inches. So your best bet actually would be to rest it on the pedal like that. That's gonna leave it at the lowest point. And from there, you can fold it in half nice and easy, and it'll be easy to transport. Now, the cool thing is, is you can find the configuration in your car that will work best. You can fold it all the way, you can unfold it a little bit, you can tilt it forward, you can leave it like this. A lot of people actually get some buckets and they put their folding e-bikes in their trunks that way, that works as well. Um, but yeah, it folds up really nice and compact. And if you're looking for a full video where we do all the measurements, you can check that out on our YouTube channel as well. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how to get this back. Real simple. You just unfold or fold it back like that. Got your kickstand. Come here, clamp this back down like so. Put your lock in, handlebars come up. And from there, clamp this down and you are all set to ride again. Now, let me go ahead and get my seat nice and tight here. Now, let me show you the battery. This is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour, like I said. Now, in order for it to work, you have to have the key in and the on position. If you want to take the battery out, that's no problem. Okay. Take out the seat here. And from there, you'll wanna unlock it. Okay, there's a little piece back here that moves in for the lock. Now from there, you just lift this out and you can easily take your battery indoors if you wanna charge it. Uh, if you're locking your bike up outside and you don't feel comfortable leaving the battery out there, no problem, just bring it in with you. And once you're ready to put it back on, it's just gonna slide on like so. And then from there, turn your key and you're good to go. And you would put your seat post back in, clamp that down, and you're off and running. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you a few things close up on the display here with the controls too. Okay, so let me just show you the controls up here. All right, so very easy. Now down here, like I said, you have your key and your lock, and you can see right here, when it's in the on position is down here and this piece is popping through. And if it's unlocked, you can see it disappears. Okay, so that's just locked and this is actually on. Then from here, you'll just come up here, push this power button, okay? And you'll see your screen come on. Now right here, you have your battery power, your speed, pedal assist level, and your odometer. And you can move through here and see a couple other things. So this is uh, how far on your recent trip. 
and let's see. And then that's your total riding time for each ride. And then a couple other features too. If you hold this plus button up, that's gonna turn your light on in the front here. So you can turn that off. And now if you hold this down, if you hold this down, it's gonna turn on what's called walking mode and the bike will move if you wanna walk it up a hill or something. Now I was trying to control that a little bit, but that's good if you have some uh, places you need to walk with it and you don't want to, um, if you don't want to have to push it under your own power. So pretty cut and dry, nice display, easy to operate. And just real quick for charging, give you a quick walk through here. Your charging port is under here. So you'd flip that up. You, on your charger that will come with the bike, you have three prongs that will slip in there. You will plug it into a wall and you'll be good to go. Never, ever, ever stick anything in there besides the charger um, that has an electrical current. Don't ever stick anything anywhere on the battery that shouldn't go there. Okay, now, uh, one thing I wanna show you real quick too, it's a twist throttle here. So I have it in pedal assist zero, so nothing will actually work. And from there, you just pull back to make the twist work, okay? Real easy to operate. And if it's in zero, the bike will not uh, work or run. It has to be in at least level one. And from here, you have your external derailleur, your seven speeds. So to push up a gear, you push here. To push down a gear, you push here. It's called a trigger shifter. Now, typically, don't shift while you're not moving. I just accidentally pushed that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take a quick uh, test try and show you how it works. And uh, yeah, show you how much fun it is. Okay, gonna do a little test ride now. Um, I'm gonna keep it in some low levels as we get going. Now this is a 750 watt motor. It's got some good get up on it. Again, I'm 225 pounds. You'll see how easily it even handles me. So I like to start with the throttle. I'm just gonna twist and go, pick my feet up. Now this is a torque sensor, or sorry, this is a cadence sensor. So when you pedal, it's gonna feel that the cadence and the motor's gonna kick in. Now disc brakes, a lot of disc brakes squeak until they work themselves in, that's completely normal. I've ridden bikes that are thousands and thousands of dollars and they still may squeak a little bit. No big deal, as long as the stopping power is ample. And that's one thing I didn't mention, this has disc brakes front and rear. Uh, they are Tektro, they work great, they stop the bike on a dime. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the motor off really quick and show you what it's like now riding with no assistance. Now I'm in gear six, so it's a little harder. Let me downshift here, there we go. Still pedals quite nice. So I'm not using any assistance right now. And then I can just put into one. really does have some good zip to it. Okay, well, there you have it, the zip and fold from 630. It's an awesome little 20 inch fat tire folding e-bike. Check it out, linked in the description below and on 630.com. And if you have any other questions at all, please comment below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com, or call us 310-982-2877. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything on the bike for a year. We also have a 30-day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love it in 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. Lastly, we have a Facebook peddlers group of thousands of 630 riders. 
ask them questions in advance of purchasing, see how they like their e-bike before you jump in. Then once you have one of our bikes, post in the group, make friends, it's tons of fun. Thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.